Astronomers and other scientists are trying to explain a series of mysterious bursts of radio waves which may have been emitted from far outside our galaxy. Telescopes have been detecting these so-called fast radio bursts for the past 14 years, and remarkably, they have a very specific pattern. There's yet no definitive explanation. Scientists searching for signs of intelligent extraterrestrial life, they're certainly excited. So what could they be? Professor John Learned uh, is from the physics department of the University of Hawaii. He's been studying the radio bursts. The special thing about them that has the astronomers so excited is that they have something called dispersion measure. It's a, it's a swooping of the frequencies of a burst, which would generally be very short and lined up, but in fact the fast, the higher frequencies come first and the lower frequencies come later. And by this swooping, this chirping of the frequencies, you can do a calculation of the distance. It's used all the time for pulsars. And when you use that measure for these, you get distances that are uh, billions and billions of light years away. And they are therefore very far, and therefore they would have to be very energetic. And so they're strange creatures. They're not like anything else we've seen and people would love to know more about them, if indeed they are at great distances. Where, 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 we have, Professor, where are they coming from? Well, we don't really know. And the, most of the observations are from this observatory, uh, the Parkes Telescope in Australia, and uh, the 10 of the 11 that we know of now uh, have been observed there. One was observed in Arecibo in Puerto Rico, uh, but all, all the others are observed from South America, so that, sorry, sorry Australia, and so that is uh, concerning because you worry about some local interference or, or whatever. What we did that I'm afraid upsets the apple cart a little bit, if indeed it is correct, is that we saw that there's a pattern in this, these measures of the distance, the dispersion measure, and, and that pattern says that they are integer multiples of some basic uh, uh, shift. And that would mean that the distances are, are quantized, that they're regular distances, which makes no sense for something extragalactic. We've also seen some other funny correlations, maybe a correlation with uh, the UTC's integer second, which would be a clear signal that it's anthropogenic, and there's some hint of correlations with lunar phase, which might be just an observing a bias from when the telescope is taking data. Professor, uh, you, you the, already seem to be denying all those, well, some people might call them fantasists who believe that there could be extraterrestrial life, but one of those was uh, the great British astronomer Patrick Moore. He said, Given the millions of galaxies and the millions of stars in every galaxy, he believed that somewhere, somewhere in the universe, there should be extraterrestrial life. We were looking at those uh, maps of where these bursts have come from. But could it possibly be, if it's a pattern, could it be some sort of signal? And is there a computer program that exists that might possibly be able to interpret such a signal? Well, first of all, I'm perfectly in sympathy with the fact that there probably is other life out there, and that's why my friends and I have spent some time trying to see where we might see signatures in data that we already have here on Earth. But I don't think this is it, unfortunately. I'm sure that our little publication will make both fans of extraterrestrials and, and, and the extragalactic astronomers mad at us but I'm, in my view, the data is leaning more toward some sort of terrestrial, relatively boring effect. Maybe a satellite, maybe a satellite in lunar orbit, maybe some sort of satellite in Earth orbit, or maybe uh, we've been, even been thinking about reflections of radar pulses off the moon. The, the CIA regularly in the 60s uh, looked, made large radio telescopes to look for reflections off the moon. So it's a doable thing, and radar pulses do come chirp like this. Professor John Lewis, stay with us on BBC World News, still to come.